。我是来自阿里云的张建峰。I'm Selina Yuan from Alibaba Cloud Intelligence International. I'm Lan Sot Guo. I'm Henry Zhang. I'm Guo Qiangli. 疫情的痛苦与危机终将会过去，我们如何更好的迎接未来？阿里云如何与大家在未来的复兴中抓住机遇？是我们当下最为关注的。Welcome to Alibaba Cloud Global Summit Live. Join Alibaba Cloud's first ever digital cloud summit. Join Alibaba Cloud's first ever digital cloud summit. Let's leap forward into the digital future. See you on July second. See you on July second. See you on July the second. See you on July second. Intel. It's our mission to empower the greatest innovators of our time with the technologies they need to take their ideas further, and it all starts with data. The data-centric computing era is marked by the rapid growth of cloud services, the transition to intelligent 5G networks, the explosion of connected devices, and the adoption of advanced analytics and artificial intelligence. From large, complex applications in the cloud to the edge. Our customers are looking for solutions that can move, store, and process data faster, turning it into actionable insights that drive business forward. Our customers are bringing the future to life, and we are working to make sure they have access to everything they need to do it. Together, we push possible forward. The world is about to change. Are you ready for what lies ahead? Because we are going full throttle into a new digital norm, where it becomes the pulse of all future businesses, the lifeline of every economy, brains of cities, and heartbeat of enterprises. This pulse will unlock new modes and empower new ideas and innovation. Our heritage has already kept us ahead of what's next, even when the world paused. We never stopped. We never gave up. We went fast forward, ahead into the future, and became the digital metamorphosis that went beyond borders. The pulse of digital economy will elevate. The pulse of new business will accelerate. The pulse of new industry models will ascend. Together, we will co-create the new world because we are the pulse of digitalization. Hello. 我是来自阿里云的张建峰，很高兴今天在我们阿里云的总部，通过这种远程连线的方式与全球的伙伴互动。疫情让我们都要和彼此保持一定的社交距离，但数字化让我们相隔万里，也近在咫尺。二零二零年是个非常特别又很关键的一年，全球很多个国家和地区都还在持续抗击疫情中。我想在这里向全球奋战在抗疫一线的工作者致敬。同时，数字化的能力和科技的手段也在这场战役中发挥了关键的作用。阿里巴巴秉承着 One World One Fight 的理念，搭建全球医生交流平台，同时将中国的抗疫经验总结为新冠肺炎防治手册，分享给全球两百三十二个国家和地区，下载量达到了六十万次。我们利用 AR 技术的新冠肺炎诊疗系统。可以做到二十秒完成诊断，准确率超过百分之九十九。在日本，一个国家就有七十多个医院在使用这个系统。通过这次危机的观察，我们也发现了一些新的变化，值得我们思考。
全球数字化进程大大加快了，数字化打破了时间、空间、行业的鸿沟，在线教育、在线办公、在线医疗等越来越成为新常态。疫情期间，中国两亿人在线办公，一点三亿学生在线上课。以海外版 Ding Talk 为例，覆盖了一百五十个国家和地区。同时 ，Ding Talk 也成为联合国教科文组织首推的在家上课平台。数字化是真正能够实现普惠的方法，特别是教育、医疗这类稀缺资源，普惠的价值与意义更大。数字化成为经济发展最根本的动力。我们需要思考，共同构建一个新的世界，一个让个人更健康、组织更高效、地球更环保的世界。这是我们共同的长期课题。疫情的痛苦与危机终将会过去，我们如何更好地迎接未来？阿里云如何与大家在未来的复兴中抓住机遇，是我们当下最为关注的。疫情中，大家已经形成了关于数字化的全面共识。未来，全球各行各业的数字化将会进一步加速。当下，在线办公、金融、医疗、政务等服务都转为线上，无基础经济蓬勃发展。例如，在疫情期间，阿里云与澳大利亚、新西兰的二十六所大学合作推动远程教育。保障了高效的正常运转。为了进一步推动全球经济复苏，我们需要更全面的升级，嗯，在消费升级、产业升级、智力升级等方面去创造一个全新的数字融合的世界。根据统计数据，二零三零年亚洲地区将贡献全球 GDP 增长的百分之六十。亚洲拥有全球一半的互联网用户，同时亚洲是数字潜力最大的区域。啊，亚洲的年轻化人口的数字化程度非常高。年轻一代对工作、生活、娱乐的需求，对我们的数字化技术创新提出了更高的要求。阿里云作为全球最懂亚洲市场的云服务提供商，有二十年的经验积累，结合丰富的生态合作伙伴，可以一起支持全球客户在亚洲更适应市场。去年，阿里云重点服务和支持国际知名跨国公司进中国，帮助全球客户扩大中国业务规模。超过百分之三十八的财富五百强客户在阿里云上。直播在疫情期间成为了零售的新模式。拉扎拉使用阿里云的 CDN 和直播解决方案，为消费者提供清晰流畅、高速的直播服务。赋能品牌和商家，利用创新的娱乐化的营销活动，吸引更多的年轻消费者。我们对全球的数字化经济未来充满信心。啊，面向未来，阿里云作为全球亚洲最大的云智能平台。会持续加大投入。今年四月，我们宣布三年投入超过两百八十亿美金，增加全球布局，在技术和生态上做深基础，做好中台，做强生态，成为全球数字经济的基础设施。目前，阿里云在全球二十一个区域、六十三个可用区、两百多个国家和地区的计算、存储、网络、加速等基础能力，啊，将业务扩大全球。无论是中小企业还是跨国企业，都可以通过阿里云快速地实现数字化创新，完成在全球的业务布局。一切过往皆为序章，让我们用创造力、创新力、科技力，幻想世界数字化新动能。谢谢大家。The impact of the coronavirus has been felt within the education industry across Australia and New Zealand. Travel restrictions in place across the region meant students in China needed a fast and efficient way to connect to their universities. Students wanted to know they could continue their education remotely. Alibaba Cloud reached out to universities across Australia and New Zealand with a clear plan to get students connected quickly and efficiently. The key problem for the university really came down to network accessibility. We had thousands of students, in particular in China, that we wanted to make sure our online learning resources, other materials, live lectures was available to them. And so Alibaba Cloud was able to come really quickly to the table to help us with that. Of all the vendors that we tried to work with, Alibaba Cloud was able to turn around within 24 hours. An initial phone call to a mocked-up solution, and then later that day, being able to demonstrate that it could work in production. We've never seen anything like it—the ability to go from a problem to working prototype.
in that short of time is nothing short of amazing. I believe UNICEF is doing its best to support international students like me, who is not in Australia. Alibaba Cloud has implemented a cloud enterprise network for many universities across Australia and New Zealand. This solution was able to set up quickly and efficiently in order to reconnect students with their universities. A CEN solution can be scaled from 30 to 4,000 plus students, allowing large numbers of people to access information and coursework. Through the CEN solution, Alibaba Cloud has connected over 20 universities with students in China, enabling a scalable way for them to continue studies. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Selena from Alibaba Cloud Intelligence International Business. COVID-19 is pushing us further into a digital world at a much faster pace. Digital platforms are thriving as consumers seek shopping, entertainment, online education, and connecting in new ways during the crisis. Enterprises will certainly embrace more digitized strategy and services. As we continue to commit to making it easy to do business anywhere, Alibaba Cloud is proud to be the trusted provider and partner of choice for global multinational corporations to land and thrive in China. For example, we support Ford to rapidly build a new digital platform for their Chinese customers called Ford Mall in less than six months. We helped and supported Shishido to break physical and virtual barriers for their customers. We built a pop-up shop where customers could try on products and physically and purchase goods online right away. The pandemic is catalyst for a bigger wave of digital transformation. Companies have to react fast to the evolving trends and capitalize on new emerging opportunities in China's post-pandemic era. To better support our customers, I want to take this opportunity to officially launch our China Gateway 2.0 program. A proven effective way to support companies leverage Alibaba Cloud's technologies. We have been providing solutions to help tackle the most concerned issues with multinational companies and China. Beyond that, in China Gateway 2.0, we offer more innovative technologies, products, solutions, and support. First of all, in order to help multinational companies, we would like to optimize the enterprise network and improvement of network scalability and flexibility. Secondly, we provide a million solution, which is really from Alibaba economy's best practice, which supports our business operations daily. Last but not the least, we support the optimization of the IT governance. This capability will support our customers to farm their business deeply in China. In terms of the richer ecosystem, we connect you to wider Alibaba ecosystem, which means a better understanding and reaching out to you customers via multiple channels. We build a value chain to support your business deployment well. Overall, we join the efforts with our customers and partners together to have the creative business model landing smoothly in China market and achieve both success, sustainability, and innovation. Today, I'm delighted to take this opportunity to announce that Alibaba Cloud and Unilever, one of the world's most famous consumer goods company, will embark on a new journey of cooperation in China.
Now I'm going to connect Mr. Rohit Jawa, Chairman Unilever China and Executive Vice President Unilever North Asia. Hi, Rohit. How are you? Very pleased to see you again. And I would like to invite you to share you like the comments and idea about our cooperation. Hi, Selena. Thank you for the opportunity. Alibaba Cloud is one of our preferred partners in China. The universe marketing plan we have jointly created enhances and builds Unilever's marketing and brand operations capabilities across all channels. I'm sure we'll work even further together to deepen the current innovation cooperation and better serve the Chinese consumers. Thank you. Thanks, Rohit, for your speech. We look forward to working with Unilever more closely this year. Thank you, Rohit. The transition to digital world will move into a higher gear, not only in China, but also in Asia and the world. We are devoted to empowering local business of our sizes and industries. MAP is a leading lifestyle retailer in Indonesia with over 2,300 retail stores and a diversified portfolio. The reliable and scalable Alibaba Cloud infrastructure bring better performance and simplify the operations to their entire IT infrastructure. Optimize the resources capability, backup and recovery based on the new architecture always ensure business continuity. Digital applications built on Alibaba Cloud platform enable retailers to offer online and offline integrated shopping experience to customers. Presto Mall is the largest homegrown online marketplace in Malaysia. By migrating its system to Alibaba Cloud, their infrastructure is of much higher level of security, reliability, and availability. This helps them achieve the more efficiency in IT spending. Alibaba Cloud database solution enables Prestmore to keep its service always online and ready, even during the traffic specs. With the new architecture, Prestmore is capable of processing over 1 million queries per second and supporting up to 100 TB data. Cloud computing is the infrastructure of digital transformation. We are committed to digital economy with continued cloud infrastructure investment. Next, let me invite Leo, regional manager of Alibaba Cloud Intelligence Indonesia and Malaysia, to join us online. Thank you, Selena. I'm Liang Chen, leading Alibaba Cloud places in Indonesia and Malaysia. Alibaba Cloud announced another $28 billion into its infrastructure over the next three years. By increasing our investment on the cloud infrastructure, we hope we can continue serving our clients with our world-class trusted cloud resources and cloud-based data intelligence solutions. Taking this opportunity, I'm very excited to announce that we are going to launch our third data center and scrapping center in Indonesia in early 2021. On top of the existing two data centers since 2018, the new data center will further enrich Alibaba Cloud's local offerings from database, compute, network, security to data analytics Three data centers in Indonesia will also provide high availability to allow the clients to easily perform the disaster recovery and deploy mission-critical application over multiple availability zones. Meanwhile, Alibaba Cloud's NTDDoS running on the scrapping center can automatically mitigate attacks and reinforce the security level of clients' applications. With the opening 
of the first scrubbing center in Indonesia, we are able to detect, analyze, remove suspicious traffic to fend off the DDoS attacks, especially for customers in finance and gaming sectors. Now, it's my great honor and privilege to invite Buck Johnny Plate, Minister of Communication and Information Technology Indonesia to give us a speech. Bapak Jeff Sang, President of Alibaba Cloud Intelligence. Ibu Selina Yuan, President of Alibaba Cloud Intelligence International. Saudara-saudari peserta Alibaba Cloud Summit 2020, serta hadirin yang berbahagia. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Shalom, Om Swastiastu, Namo Buddhaya, Salam Kebajikan. Pertama-tama, saya ingin menyampaikan apresiasi kepada Alibaba Group yang telah menyelenggarakan Alibaba Cloud Summit dengan tema The Pulse of Digitalization. Pertemuan ini penting untuk mendorong pelaku ekonomi digital di Indonesia untuk terus berinovasi dan berkolaborasi secara lebih mendalam. Melalui kesempatan ini, saya juga mengucapkan selamat pada Alibaba Cloud atas dimulainya pembangunan Availability Zone dan Data Scrubbing Center ketiga di Indonesia yang diharapkan dapat diresmikan penggunaannya pada awal tahun 2021. Inisiatif yang dilakukan Alibaba Cloud dapat menjadi bagian dari upaya percepatan transformasi digital Indonesia. Kami berharap pengelolaan data oleh pelaku industri dapat dilakukan selaras dengan prinsip-prinsip pengelolaan data pemerintah Indonesia, yakni prinsip lawfulness, fairness, dan manajemen data yang lebih transparan. Prinsip-prinsip ini secara konsisten telah kami sampaikan di berbagai forum internasional, seperti International Telecommunication Union, ITU, World Economic Forum, WEF, G20 Digital Economy Task Force, DETF Forum, dan ASEAN China Year on Digital Economy yang berlangsung beberapa bulan terakhir ini. Saya meyakini bahwa kolaborasi antara pemerintah, pelaku usaha, akademisi, masyarakat sipil, dan seluruh pemangku kepentingan adalah kunci dalam akselerasi transformasi digital, terlebih di masa pandemi COVID-19 yang turut mempercepat proses transformasi digital ini. Mari terus bekerja bersama-sama untuk memastikan bangsa Indonesia menyambut era masyarakat digital, menyongsong Indonesia sebagai the digital energy of Asia. Sekian dan terima kasih. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I would like to thank Minister again for the trust in us to serve the local market and contribute to the local digital transformation. Let me express my appreciation to Minister Johnny Plate again. Moreover, we always value the trust of our customers and partners. Since our first data center launch in 2018 in Indonesia, we have worked side by side with them along the journey. I'm very grateful to invite Adira Finance, Astra Financial, Indonet, and Tokopedia, and Alma Bank to give us a few words, let's hear what they say. Hi, I'm Dodi uh, Suandi, Chief of IT Officer at Adira Finance. We have been partnering with Alibaba Cloud since 2018, when Alibaba Cloud uh, first launching their data center in Indonesia. Alibaba Cloud has been empowering our ERP system and many digital initiatives with great expertise support for the latest technology. In this opportunity, we would like to congratulate Alibaba Cloud for the expansion and launching plan of the AZ3, the third data center and also the scrubbing center in early 2021. We are confident with the long-term commitment of Alibaba Cloud for the community and customer in Indonesia, we can grow together. Hello, uh, my name is Sando Koli, uh, Director at Astra Financial. Astra Financial is Astra International's supporting for financial services business. We would like to thank the Alicloud team 
for ensuring uninterrupted services during COVID-19 lockdown period. We wish you loads of success and fruitful outcome of your initiative. We are looking forward to take advantage of the new technology enhancement from AliCloud and continue our partnership to build the digital future. Internet have been partnered with Alibaba Cloud since 2017, even before the launch of their first data center. In these opportunities, we would like to congratulate Alibaba Cloud for the launch of the third data center in Indonesia in 2021. Hi, I'm Kevin Kane, a CTO from Amar Bank Indonesia. Uh, first of all, I would like to congratulate AliCloud for a new uh, expansion, product expansion in Indonesia. Uh, we are happy to see that AliCloud put more uh, commitment to this region. We, Amar Bank, has been collaborated with AliCloud for more than uh, two years, uh, started from 2018. It is a very great uh, partnership uh, together with AliCloud. Hi, everyone. I'm Andrew, distinguished engineer at Tokopedia. As an Indonesian technology company and a solid partner of Alibaba Cloud, we are very excited for the opening of the third available zone of Alibaba Cloud IDC and the Starbucks Center for Indonesia. The work we have been doing with Alibaba Cloud provides us with a comprehensive set of product portfolios ranging from infrastructure as a service, big data, artificial intelligence, and security. Thank you, Minister, and all the customers and partners. Thank you, Liu. Now let me invite Liu Liu, the Regional Manager of Alibaba Cloud Intelligence, HTK, and Philippines to join us online. Next, I will pass Alan to share more details. Thank you. Thank you, Liu. Further to what Selena and Liu says, our goal is by the end of 2023, to support about 5,000 Philippines enterprises throughout their digital transformation journey. In the coming three years, we aim to train 50,000 and have at least 10,000 certified clouders through our digital training workshops. We will continue to expand our local partnership ecosystem together with our partnerized solutions, products, and services to meet the needs from the different local industries and customers. Next, let me show the cooperation with some of our key partners in Philippines, please. This is Carlos Barrera. I'm the Chief Operating Officer of the Sala Philippines, and I'm very happy to be part of this moment uh, at the Alibaba Cloud Global Online Summit today. And as a global leader in cloud computing and AI, I'm confident that the Alibaba Cloud Intelligence team will bring more and more opportunities and innovations into the Philippine market. We look forward to more opportunities to work with the team as part of the Alibaba ecosystem and Alibaba family and improve the lives of our community through technology innovations. We are delighted to have forged a partnership with Alibaba Cloud as we leverage on their proven track record and experience as Asia Pacific's biggest cloud service provider. AliCloud is supported by the ubiquitous and robust infrastructure that they have been aggressively building within Asia Pacific and globally as well. AliCloud has developed the widest array of solutions across the cloud ecosystem. We at PLDT are looking forward to expand our partnership together with Alibaba Cloud as we face this new era of cloud modernization. Hi. I'm Jeffrey Turla from Kaisa Consulting Company, a premier implementation partner of SAP in the Philippines, and now a proud partner of Alibaba Cloud. We at Kaisa chose to be partnered with Alibaba Cloud because we share the same vision for our customers, that is, to bring them in the forefront of digital transformation. I would like to congratulate and welcome Alibaba Cloud as a major cloud services provider here in the Philippines. 
Never has there been a more perfect time for businesses to migrate to the cloud than now. In this pandemic time, it is of utmost importance that we have a secured and reliable partner as we transition to the new normal. Again, my congratulations to the whole Alibaba Cloud team and here's to more years of partnership with you.